Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772, and today I'm doing an action figure review of the new Star Wars Rebels Mission Series uh, Zeb and Stormtrooper 2 pack. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so when I got this, I was so excited. I opened it, and Dad's like, weren't you going to do a review on that? And I'm like, oh yeah, that. Uh, but I was just so excited to see these guys. That was like yesterday or something, day before maybe. Um... <coughs> And I was I was so excited to uh, get these guys. Um, my first impressions on them before getting them, I thought that Zeb was going to be terrible because I had looked at the uh, pictures of the San Diego Comic Con Zeb, and I don't really I'm not one of the people to really like nitpick, like look at images, try to analyze every little detail and nitpick every little thing. Uh, but I did notice a significant uh, difference on the Zeb figure from different reviews I've seen, uh, pictures of people who had gotten Zeb, and he just looked really bad to me. Uh, like his face, for instance, it looked like it was all one solid color, no shades, it just looked terrible. Um, and, you know, obviously the San Diego Comic-Con ones that they showed and everything like that, New York Comic-Con ones, uh, those looked, uh, New York Toy Fair, all that, um, those looked absolutely fine, uh, but the final image, of course, uh, never turns out like that. However, I was pleasantly surprised to see that um, both Zeb and the Stormtrooper uh, looked a lot better than I had imagined them to be. Um, so I'm going to go over the articulation, and then I'll get to the detail of the figures, because there is something wrong with each one of them. So each comes with their own accessory. The Stormtrooper, oops, Zeb fell. Uh, Zeb doesn't stand too well, by the way, just a heads up. Stormtrooper comes with a Stormtrooper blaster. Uh, pretty basic, I believe. This is the first of this sculpt. I might be mistaken. Um, here. Wow, I'm really, really bad at uh, getting this on a uh, surface for it, that would, it will show up. But um, yeah, as you can see, there's no little like finger trigger place, um, just a handle. So I do believe it's like one of the mission series guns. Um, and then I presume it's just the uh, standard stormtrooper rifle. So uh, I do plan to get more stormtroopers because they're pretty cool looking. And I'm going to get the uh, stormtrooper uh, army carrier thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, each figure comes with five points of articulation. Um, the Stormtrooper's head rotates around 360 degrees. It's on a peg. Uh, shoulders rotate around 360 degrees. Legs go forward and backwards like that. And that's as far as it'll go. Um, really, really, yeah. And then on the Zeb figure, uh, his neck rotates around 360 degrees. Shoulders rotate around 360 degrees and legs go forward and backwards. So yeah, uh, it's good that uh, we did get these figures and they're out finally. I do want to go over Zeb Scum before uh, anything else because I do have something that's a really big nitpick. So um, here is his gun. It kind of looks like his uh, what I would consider the Magna Guard. Uh, staff looking thing in the show. Uh, however, it is, uh, I believe this is just a gun version. I don't know. I might include that uh, his staff too might be two in one. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention too well. I'm going to be honest. Um, it's all one solid color. The sculpting is really nice, but the paint job on it is, oh god, it's awful. It is just pathetic how they are doing these figures. Um, now, the Stormtrooper, I really am loving the sculpt. It's quite a bit different from the uh, other Stormtroopers we've got in. Uh, you can tell it's kind of an animated look, but kind of, uh, you know, you can tell, but also you can... He can fit in with the uh, non-animated guys just as well as he can fit in with the animated guys. So th I do really like that about this line. The Stormtrooper looks absolutely fantastic. The only problem I have is you can see this little product number or something on the uh, back of his leg. I do not like that. It's obvious. It's ugly looking. It's just uh, I really don't like that. And I checked all my other Rebels figures and or all my other Star Wars Rebels figures and none of them had that. So it was very strange. Zeb on the other hand would have been amazing. The only fault I have with him is his ability to stand isn't the best. Uh, his gun but also, and I'm going to try to get this, um, you can see that little smudge on his, uh, 
torso or I don't know how to say it without sounding somewhat immature, but uh, his crotch, the paint job, they messed up on really bad. You can see the uh, little black mark, and then you can also see a bit of smeared yellow paint, uh, which is really pathetic. It's not shading or anything, and on the butt, it's really bad. Um, you can only kind of see it, but there's a little red mark in there, plus there is just smeared yellow paint, and Oh my goodness, Hasbro, did you really mess up that bad? I know that Hasbro is good at messing things up. Uh, we can see that because we haven't gotten these figures really even at stores yet. I had to order this pack from Amazon. Um, but wow, this is just kind of sad. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm going to uh, set them up next to the other Rebels figures so that you can see. Um, hang on, Nick. My dog is wanting to go to sleep and he's trying to get under the covers. So yeah, um... My final thoughts on these guys are, it's a decent pack, and of course if you want the new characters, get them, but don't be expecting masterpieces, because more or less these are pieces of garbage. I really hope that they release good versions of uh, the main six characters, plus uh, the Inquisitor and possibly Kellis, um, as maybe, uh, as just like, you know, regular Black Series Good articulated, good detailed figures. Uh, but all of these so far, there is something majorly wrong with each one of them. Kanan and Ezra have flimsy necks. I feel like they're just going to rip off. It's more uh, apparent on Ezra because every time you take the helmet off, I feel like his neck's just going to snap. Obi-Wan, the salt shaker, I don't like the ball joint. Then the stormtrooper with the tag on his leg and Zeb with the smeared paint job. So honestly, I'm going to give this pack... I'm going to be very, very uh, generous in my review and give it a 3 out of 5 because this is absolutely ridiculous how the paint job was like that. Uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed with Hasbro. I'm not, I'm sure that not every single figure is like this. Uh, so if, you know, if you're one of the people who are thinking about getting this or not and it's in stores by the time you're looking at it, I would uh, take a look at the figures. Uh, see if there's paint smeared on them, if just, ah, oh gosh, this, so far this is just a kind of a terrible line. Um, but that's pretty much my review. If you want this, it's on Amazon right now. I think the price shot up to like 30 bucks because, and it's even Star Wars that put it on that much. Talk about inflation, right? Uh, but there's like the R2 3PO pack, and I'm, these will all be out in store soon on, uh, cards and everything. Uh, so that's pretty much it with my long review slash rant. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Uh, one kind of last thing about these figures, uh, would I recommend getting them? I, I kind of went over this. Uh, I recommend, once again, just getting them if you uh, want all the characters. Because obviously I want all of the characters. And usually I don't uh, care about the mess ups like too much. Uh, but I'm a bit more strict in my reviews than I really am. But so far, uh, I am actually like legitimately disappointed in this line. Uh, so only get them if you like really just want the characters. But prepare to be disappointed if you do get them. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. And until next time, Boba7772 out.